what is up haunted fam we are back at it once again this time we're gonna do something that i haven't tried in a very very long time we are gonna try to communicate someone who recently passed last year that was honestly a big inspiration for me in my childhood i know my brother wasn't a really big fan of it but it was a part of his childhood too we have jason with us hello and uh what we're gonna do right now and hopefully maybe we can try to get through to him try to talk to him and just see what happens what we are going to try to communicate the late great legendary mighty morphin power ranger green ranger jason david frank also known as tommy oliver so with the 30 year anniversary coming up for power rangers and me still being a big power rangers fan if you don't like that not my problem and we already got the REM pod freaking out. What were you gonna say? I said I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like what? I don't know. That I'm a fan of Power Rangers? Okay. I'm not doing anything, guys. Like, I'll back up. Is it the instant? I'll move the phone. Nope. I, I promise you I'm not doing shit. And it has nothing to do with any of this, like near it. Nothing. I'll even move it away. Nothing to do with it. So, alright. Looks like we're off to a pretty good start here tonight. With that being said, guys, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And let's get into this video right now. Alright, so I know that noise is a little annoying. We're going to zero everything out. We're going to reset it. See what happens. We're going to reset the temperature. And what we're going to do right now is turn on the spirit box, AM, Oops. I won't use this as much because I know you guys really can't stand the noise, but we have our little setup right now, we have our altar, we have an offering which is cinnamon sticks, and I know he really wasn't a much of a big drinker, but we have an offering to the spirits. Maybe they can help us communicate with him better. I did cleanse the area with incense, so hopefully we can get something. If any spirits are here with us tonight, we are trying to communicate with the spirit of Jason David Frank. If he is here with us, please come through. We know you passed in December of 2022. It was definitely a big shock to me and definitely a lot of people in the Power Ranger community. Honestly, I did not see that coming. I literally saw you a week before you passed and it was so nice to talk to you yet again. I just, I wanna know if you are willing to speak with us tonight. Here. Sound like here. Jason, are you here? And yes, we already know you're here, Jay. <laughs> Jason, if you are here with us, if you are present in this room trying to talk to us, make one of the five candles go out or make this device in front of me go off like it was going off before. No, he wasn't a drinker, so let's take that away from him. I know he did believe in a higher power. I know he was a very religious. He had his own brand called Jesus Didn't Tap. And uh, that was probably an awesome brand in my opinion, but everyone has their beliefs. I have mine. He had his. But he was still a big part of a lot of 90s kids back in the day. I know he played in other roles, he played in other shows, but Power Rangers was like the biggest that he could ever be a part of. Jason, you know that your family loves you and misses you, and we are so very sorry that you left this world feeling the way you did. There are a lot of people that support you, 
and we're there for you and you were just an immense impact to all of us and we are so sorry that you went through that he said he was depressed and suicidal and it was fucking bad man Jason, we are trying to speak with you. Can you please give us a sign that you're here with us? I did have an autograph of his somewhere. I, I have no idea where it went. Otherwise, I'd put that in the center and try to speak to him through that, but... My camera's like really blurry. Jason David Frank, if you're here with us, we'd like to speak to you. We just want to know that you're in a better place. Do you miss your family? Maybe it doesn't want to work. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try something out. See if maybe we get anything that could be relevant to uh, him and his life. So just give me one sec, guys. All right, we're gonna try this. See if we get something. Hold on, let me fix my camera. Sorry, guys. Dave? Dave? Jason David Frank, we are trying to speak to you. I know you go by Tommy Oliver. Do you, do you want us to call you Tommy Oliver or Jason? Frank. Frank. That's what it sounded like. Hey. Is that you trying to say hi? Sure. Sure, no. Right. Jason Davis Frank, we are trying to talk to just you. So anyone else that is present, we are not talking to you. Timmy, you guys are fucking terrible. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. We we're just trying to talk to Jason. Can you please come through? You're one of the greatest living Power Rangers ever. And we thank you for everything that you did to entertain us. Everything that you did outside of Power Rangers. All the projects that you had going on. We hope that they continue. And especially the Legend of the White Dragon. I was looking forward to seeing that. Hopefully that they release it and, you know, do something in honor of you. I don't know. Alright, I, I guess you don't want to talk to us right now. That's perfectly fine. Um, for everyone speaking and everyone that's comments on this video. I know it's been over a month, but, you know, hashtag RIP JDF. And, you know, for everyone that's in the community that watched this show as a kid in the 90s. You're awesome. 
you know, and I hope that he is in a better place. He's not suffering anymore. And may the power protect him and everyone else in his family. We love and miss you, man. And it was an honor meeting you. Thank you. Alright, guys. So, um, not really getting much, obviously. I don't really expect to try to have his spirit come through, um, especially using that. But I wanted to try it out, see what happens. Um, and just give you guys something for tonight. I know I was supposed to do something else, but unfortunately the weather kind of stopped us from doing so. But I wanted to give you guys something tonight, and this honestly meant a lot to me to do. Whether or not we communicated with his spirit or whatever was coming through at the time, it still should resonate for all the fans of his, his family, and just everyone else that he connected to and he touched as a person i know the first time i met him i did explain it in videos but like i i didn't have a dollar to my name and like i just wanted to meet the guy i wanted to shake his hand and that was it thank him for being an inspiration and you know he said hey you know what would you like autograph whatever i said well unfortunately i don't have money i just wanted to meet you da 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 and he took my phone, gave it to his assistant, and we took a picture that I didn't even ask for, and he signed a um, card that was, like, for his MMA thing, and that was just awesome. You know, he said, I forgot, like, the gist of what he said, but he did say mysterious things happen in mysterious ways, and God is watching over you, and he was talking about some other things that I don't fully remember, but... It was just an amazing point in my life meeting a childhood hero. And I am really sorry that he has gone from us. Definitely taken way too soon. He was in he was like 45. And it it really sucks because literally a a month or no, a few days after he it said that he passed. I don't I don't know. I mean, you you never know what's going on in anybody's life. You don't know the true story. They could be smiling up a storm and everything else could be d collapsing around them. So, if you know anybody that is struggling, just be there for them. Don't, don't run away from the problem. Don't seclude yourself from them if they are, even if they aren't asking you for help. Help them out. Because that one instance of you being there for them could change their entire outlook on life. Just saying. Taking it from experience. Me and him both. So, with that being said, guys, love you all so much. Like I said, we have a new abandoned location coming up very, very soon. We are just working out the details and picking a day where we can actually go and explore for a decent amount of time. With that being said, my name is David. This is Jason. Welcome back to the channel, brother. We missed you. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace. And I'll tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Tommy.